I get so tempted when I'm doing all this baking not to eat them all. Hey beautiful people, how are you today? I'm gonna share with you my recipe for some vegan scones with blueberry and apricot. And I'm very excited, I love doing my cooking, you know, I like doing my vlogging and I like doing my cooking and so I'm really enjoying cooking and I'm also very excited to announce that I am going to be doing a Draw My Life. Uh, I'm in the process of doing it now and I just wanted to give you a bit of insight about who I am, what I'm doing here, why, who, what, where, etc. So anyway, let's get started straight away with the recipe. I hope you're having a good day. Let's go. Okay, here we go. So I have one handful of apricots chopped up. Then I've got two tablespoons of sugar. You can use three dates chopped up if you like. Whoops. <laughs> then I have um, 80 grams of vegan butter. Please feel free to use regular butter. 180 ml of almond milk. You can use regular milk. Then I have some spice. I've got some cinnamon there. A large handful of blueberries. Then I have 350 grams of self-raising gluten-free flour. recipe you can either make it vegan or you can make it non-vegan you can make it gluten-free or you can make it non-gluten-free I just wanted to give you a massive variety of options to make you happy this is the rubbing in stage I'm just picking up lumps of the flour and the butter and I'm just picking them up and letting them drop from my fingers I'm rubbing them with my thumb and my forefinger just keep rubbing it and you keep going and let it fall back in the bowl um, until it resembles fine breadcrumbs. And then quickly we go to the vanilla, vanilla extract, <laughs> a teaspoon. Then in the sugar, or you can have your dates that you've chopped up and blended with water. And then I'm adding the almond milk. You wanna add the milk, mix it together with a knife, and make sure you get all the dry bits um, Mi mixed in. Now I'm adding the apricots, in they go, along with the blueberries, just like so, and then just using my hands to get that all mashed in nicely. Right, now I'm um, taking it out of the bowl and I'm just forming it into a ball some flour on the work surface to make sure that the dough doesn't stick and then I'm patting it in, this is about two and a half centimetres um, two and a half centimetres thick so I don't need a rolling pin, I do it with my hands and this mixture is a bit dry and crumbly because it is gluten free right, I've got my cookie cutter, it's about five centimetres in diameter and I push, I push down and I push out and I push it on my lovely this is a sill pat, it's a silicon mat and it saves on using up all that baking parchment and then just keep going, just keep on going until they're all cut out nicely if you need to re-roll then just squidge up your mixture and re-roll it and then I've got some black currants that I'm just popping on the top so I'm just popping the black currants on the top um, I just had some frozen ones I thought I'd add in, please feel free to uh, I got my black currants online, it's difficult to find them in the shop when I'm doing all this baking not to eat them all so I tend to just wrap them up in cling film and put them in the freezer wrap them up in loads of cling film and put them in the freezer so I don't so I don't eat them and you know I love baking I love healthy food I love all manner of things and I'm doing this channel because it makes me happy and hopefully I'm making you happy by sharing the recipes that I love and the things that I love doing anyway that's me Please do give me a like, a big thumbs up, and subscribe if you haven't already. And comment in the box below. Do share the recipe with your friends. Sharing is caring. And I will speak to you tomorrow. Big love. <laughs>